Glock 26. Okay. Okay. Two out of three. Two out of three. Maybe. Hey, that hey, eighty percent. That eighty okay. percent. Hey, you passed it. We call we call it eighty ninety percent. Iron sight. Safe and clear. Hey, hey. What I say about my shield plus? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Good. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. I Like Guns. If you like guns like I do, hit that thumbs up. Smash that subscribe. We out here at Phoenix Gun Range in Lawrence, South Carolina. Come holler at my guy, Randy. He gonna get y'all right down here. He very knowledgeable when it comes to firearms, training, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Say what's up to the people, man. Yo, yo, yo. You know yes, what time sir. it is, baby. No we rebel. Here, man. Mr. Firearms. Mr. Rebel Firearms, baby. But what we about to do today is, is a good old Ironside versus with my EDC and his EDC, man. And it is the Shield Plus yeah. and the G26, man. The Glock 26, man. Show them, show them what you got, man. Come on, show man. You, you already know. You already know. Big. EDC action, 26, perfect concealable. You see what's going on. FDE, Gen 4, you know and I'm saying, AKA, Mr. Let It Go. All right. Yeah, all right. Bye. Yes, sir, Mr. Let It Go. And y'all already know what my, what my EDC is, man. That good old trusty. Yeah, yeah. Shield Plus, man. Yeah, yeah. But we about to see which one we like better. You know what I'm saying? Because it's only right. They about the same size. His might be a little fatter. Mine's real thin, so. About to see which one we like better, man. Yo. Shield Plus or the G26, Yo. man. Stay tuned. All right, I'm finna go ahead and test it out. Known Rebel. You know what I'm saying? I'm deciding it, which one I want to do first. I'm trying to trying to decide which, one, which way I want to go. Shield All right, so you got the Shield. Shield Plus. You already know. Perfect slim fit. Perfect slim fit. And this is the plus. Don't don't get it twisted. This is the plus. plus. Uh, with that plush. You know what I'm saying? She got that plush grip on there. Uh, I think I might go ahead and do the shield plush. She already in my hand and yeah, she feel good. Yeah, she feel good. So I'm finna go ahead, five shots and non-biased opinion on this baby right here. Let's see how All she right. do. When it came down to that, I do notice that with this, the trigger is small. Like the trigger, guard, yeah, small, like man. the trigger guard is small. And with the uh, TLR six, I was thinking about getting one of these for my uh, my twenty six. Um, it does cover it and make it feel more bulky. So it's kind of like if you do have a small uh, trigger placement or trigger guard in here, I got long ass fingers. Like my long ass fingers on a gun like this, I really need a little bit more space. As far as shooting it, um, and the comfortability, the comfort, you know, the comfort, y'all know what the fuck I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, the comfortability in the gun, the gun itself, um, and the uh, the actual grip, the mag size and everything like that is actually perfect. Uh, the slim fit, you can get an excellent grip on this gun, uh, even with big hands. It's just a trigger guard, uh, for me. But as far as the trigger, oh, perfect. I love it. It's little to nothing you feel, little to no recoil. As long as you got a good placement on the gun itself, um, you actually in good hands. You know what I'm saying? See what y'all 26 hitting like compared to that. All right, so that's the Shield Plus. Honest opinion on that. Now I'm finna do five shots out of the 26. Let's go. We hot, we hot, we hot. All right, um, with the 26, definitely feel better for one. 
the trigger guard, as you can see, is just, it's out there. You know, uh, you got a lot of space in here to get your get your fingers in there and uh, do your thing as far as um, having free space. You know, you ain't got to squeeze your finger or bend your finger too much so you can find the trigger or find the hole for the, the trigger guard. Uh, that's good. As you know, Glock trigger, real standard. This is a stock trigger right here. Um, I love it. Um, I'm definitely thinking about getting a different trigger, but I love it. Uh, even coming out of the um, out of the uh, the factory, uh, the grip itself, I do have a talent grip on this, so it does help with um holding it, making it sure it feels uh more comfort, uh more comfortable as far as your uh your placement. You can grab it and uh get your hands in the right spot quickly and efficiently, um uh, with the talent grip bulky size this is a double stack so as you know with the double stack and let me make sure it's clear real quick nothing 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 all right so with the double stack as you can see um it does make it a little fatter in the back you know she got a little ass I know you heard a Coke bottle. You know, she got a little ass. Got a BBL you know back there. Yeah, got a, nah, she ain't no BBL. That's when you throw that beaver tail. You throw a BB, if you throw a beaver tail on a Glock, that's a BBL. You know what I'm saying? Because you adding ass to it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, with the double stack, you know what I'm saying? It does offer comfort a lot more comfort stable um Fill up your hand more. a better grip yeah more contact with the actual gun itself uh especially if you got big ass hands you know so if you got big hands i feel like the um the 26 is perfect so that's my non-pious what non-biased opinion on that when it comes down to choosing either or as far as the shield plus and 26 fresh out the box iron sights um and the overall feel of it i'm gonna have to say the 26. so i'm about to take some shots with the 26 and see how i like it versus the shield plus straight iron sight iron sight versus iron sight let's go g26 G26, right here, man. Okay, Shield Plus, y'all already know. This is my EDC. About to see what this thing hitting like real quick. And I already know that, but about to see how, because I just took a shot out that 26, so I'm going to see how this feel right compared quick. to that. Let's go. Okay. Y'all already know I'm I'm used to shooting this gun, so this gun feel good to me. So I'ma mainly be talking about the G26. We safe and clear. Okay, this G26 Shield Plus. Y'all already know what I think about this. I love it. But if I had to choose one over the other, Iron Sights. <sighs> Iron Sight versus Iron Sight. For EDC. I ain't gonna lie, the Glock Sight's not bad. But I like the Shield Plus sights over the Glock Way 26 better. sights. Way better. But it's not bad. But I do like how the Glock feel in my hand better because it, it's it's more it got more girth to it. You know, she a little thicker, man. Big booty hoes, hop with it. And you know, they right here slim thick. It ain't a what. See, look, just just look at that. Look how thin that is. So it kind of feel kind of weird in your hand but at the same time it feel good if y'all can get what i'm saying nope but and if it come down to triggers i prefer the shield plus trigger over the glock trigger but overall y'all know i'm going with the shield plus he went with the 26 i'm going with the shield plus so our edcs don't change man we like what we like, and it, it ain't nothing wrong with it. This is non biased. I'm not choosing the Shield Plus just because that's my EDC, and and bro, not just choosing the Glock yeah, 26 it's just because you buy it. that's his 26. Yeah. But 
This is our honest opinion. Y'all take what y'all want from that. Shield Plus, Glock 26. Yes, sir. Y'all see it. Oh, wow. Non-bias oh, opinion. Yes, sir, Mr. I like good.